for joining me for another video today. Today I'm going to be exploring different handheld sharpeners and seeing what we find works best for various pencils. So all the pencils I have are kind of normal sized. I don't have any fat pencils here, although I do have some slightly bigger ones like some of these, the Derwent Ink Tense is a little bit wider than for instance a Colleen pencil. I don't know the actual millimeter size, but they are bigger, so we can have a look. The reason I'm doing this video is I was recently coloring with my Starjoy pencils, and I was getting enormously frustrated because I, in one page, and I haven't even completed the page yet, this one green pencil went from a full size like this down to this size. And I was moaning to my husband and then I said, oh, I finally found that if I use this particular sharpener on this particular setting, then the point doesn't break as much. And he said to me, well, why don't you make a video about that? And I thought, excellent idea. So it's thanks to my hubby that we're doing this video. So I've brought various pencils to see how they react. And then I've got all my sharpeners out here. So let me lay them aside and then we will do them bit by bit. So, I have not bought any sharpeners specifically for this. I am a bit of a sharpener collector because of colouring with pencils and I think you all know what it's like that one gets quite frustrated and you always look for the perfect thing. The one that I often turn to and use most of the time is a plain and simple Lyra handheld sharpener. Now, I bought this huge box of 24 sharpeners about three years ago and it's still fairly full um, and when one gets blunt I just turf it out and take out a new one. So I thought I'd start with that because it's very inexpensive and I've actually found it very useful. I always sharpen it in, sharpen into a little container, a receptacle. And so let me write down here, Lyra. And I'm going to start and I think I will note down where there is a problem. So I've got such a collection of pencils here. I am going to start with Prismacolor, which is often a problem. I always hold my pencil in my left hand so it's stable as I can make it and then turn the sharpener with my right hand. And that's a fairly nice point and it didn't break. So I'm just going to color a bit. All right, so that actually worked fine. So that's the Lyra Sharpener Prismacolor. I'll put them in a list like that. Then I've got the Starjoy, which is the one that was causing me the trouble before. So I'm starting with these soft ones and we'll see what happens. It's actually all right now. How about that? No, no, it's not all right. If, I don't know if you can see that, but the lead has broken on the one side. So let me go a little bit further and see what happens. Not too bad. All right, it's actually living through that one. Then I have a very old pencil here, a Laurentian. Oops. It's not going to help the pencil if I throw it on the floor. Sharpening with the Lyra. Lovely point. Then I have a Faber-Castell Gold Faber pencil. This is not so blunt, so we're just going to start with it. Kind of went crack when I started. Let me try some more. It's fine. All of these pencils are making a lot of dust and I haven't brought my brush. Then I'm going to go to Derwent Ink Tense 
Now this has got some barcoding across it on sticky paper which makes it quite difficult and I think it blunts my poor sharpener but it's doing well. Whoops, I made a mess. Next we have a Kohenor hard mod and this is also a hardish pencil. Want a better point. Nice. Good. Next we have a Faber Castell Polychromis. Um, I always find these sharpen well. Doesn't seem to matter what sharpener you use. So there we are. Next I have a Colleen pencil. They tend to give trouble when you sharpen them. So let's see what happens. You can already feel the wood is soft. So of course it sharpened beautifully. And next I have a Derwent Pro Colour. Sharpened well. Next I have a Derwent Light Fast. And mm, that's another Colleen. Then I have a last pencil I brought. Let me choose one that's, oh, I've got two more. Crayola. This is sort of breaking off a little bit on the one side to try a bit more. See if I can get a good point. It's still breaking off a bit, not giving me a good point. Gonna try a little bit more. It's still breaking off. I'm not getting a good point with the Crayola. So, oopsie. I'm going to write here. Not good point. with Crayola and I have one more look at my finger it's already so dirty one more inexpensive one I often find the pinks and reds give problems so let me try this is um, a rose art pencil another inexpensive brand and then we've finished with our little Lyra pencil sharpener So, so the top is breaking. Oh no, there we've got a nice point. All right, so I'm now going to color a bit with all of them and then come on to the next pencil sharpener. So I think this, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and there was only one that didn't do so well. Okay, so now I just need these points to get blunt, so I'm going to scribble some of them for a bit. As this video is going to become very long, I've sped up the next few bits, and I'm trying a Faber-Castell sharpener with the reservoir for sharpenings. This one was not quite as successful. That is the Starjoy pencil, and it breaks the Laurentian, breaks... I changed my mind about writing too much afterwards. I tried both the Star, Do jo Star Joy and the Laurentian twice, but afterwards decided to only go once because my pencils will be eaten up. Gold Faber breaks. Not successful. It's funny because it feels nice when you sharpen with it. Um, which was quite sad. That is the Koenor Hardmut. That was fine. Polychromos. Never really have problems with those. Colleen. 
that one was all right. This is the Pro Color, a Crayola, and the Rose Art, which also had problems. So this one was not as successful. And now on to the next sharpener, which I'll also speed up. Well, while I was sharpening, all, while I was scribbling with all of these to see what would happen, the Crayola one broke. So this is actually 7 out of 12 because I just put the pen down and it broke. So that Faber-Castell sharpener did not do well. Now we're going to try this expensive M&R sharpener. Mobius and Rupert. It's a lovely heavy sharpener. Only downside for me with that one is that it's round and keeps falling and rolling. Prismacolor was fine. The Laurentian had a minor problem but was fine the second time I did it. The Starjoy was fine. It's coping with the big size of the ink tents. Goldfaber was fine. You can see the beautiful, lovely, long wooden shaving that it makes. It's a really lovely sharpener. The Goldfaber broke once, so I put it down as a question mark, but then it was fine. Look at the point it gives you. That is one thing I really like about that. If you want a nice, long, sharp point, it's excellent. So let's see how we go with this. The Colleen even was fine. The Colleen has been fine. The paper on the Lightfast has been fine. So far, so good. Oh dear, it broke the point. So now I'm trying it again and it was okay. The next two, the Crayola seems fine. And the final one on this one, the Rose Art, is also fine. So this is a very successful one. You can use these pencil shavings as well to make a nice kind of pastel type of background on your coloring pages if you save them. And especially with this where the pencil shavings are so nice and solid and you can remove them from the little bits of crumbs. So I think that was excellent. Next, we're using Prismacolor Sharpener. Has two different holes for a shorter point and a larger point. So you've got your choice of the type of point you want to go for. Prismacolor itself was fine on there. Starjoy, unhappy. No, let's see the other one. Also broken, not happy. Laurentian, fine. It worked fine with the Derwent ink tents. I bought the sharpener especially for my Prismacolors, but I seldom use it actually. The Gold Faber, broken, broken, not successful. <laughs> It has a piece of pencil lead stuck in it, so I had to empty it with a toothpick. Broke the toothpick. With the koh -Noor. And then I had all sorts of difficulty getting it stuck in again and getting that correctly on. So now we go with the koh -Noor. That sharpened fine. Ink tense was fine. Pro color was fine. Colleen was fine. See the light fast. Also fine. Crayola, good. And Rose Art, good. So here is the Kum Automatic Long Point. And this one, you can buy it um, with just two blades or you can buy it with the four blades. 
the one that's most useful for me is the two blades but i didn't realize it when i bought it so i bought the four blades and what you do with this is you end up with those nice kind of long points that you get from a desktop either automatic or manual type of sharpen it has the first blade that it's numbered one and two that first shaves the wood off and gives you this long area this is my prisma color and then you put it in the second blade which sharpens the point so look at that point i mean that's amazing okay so i also want to show you it doesn't have a large storage area for for the shavings these other two blades here are for sharpening lead there's for two millimeter and three millimeter um the only lead that i've got is from a draft pencil which is nine millimeter but it sharpens that on the one thing you put it in there and then you sharpen it and then that normal blunt point comes out with a point and i think if i think if you do things with leads like drafting or, or things like that or if you use lead to draw and you have a lead holder that that's very useful and then the other thing that this one comes with is two replacement blades they're a bit difficult to get out they positioned over here and you can lift oopsie lift them up i have lifted it a bit and there's one and there's another one in there so I'm just going to pop them back in there so that I don't lose them. So, I mean, I really think that's an awesome sharpener. All right, so now let's test it with, we've done the Prismacolor, let's test it with the next one. Let's see, let's see Starjoy. How does that do? This is quite a long process, sharpening these pencils. Outstanding. Now Laurentian. And as some of them got that very long point and some of them not quite as much. It manages the fat derwent barrel as well very nicely. And now onto the pretty pink Koenor. Let's see how that manages. I do love that color. Perfect. Derwent Pro color. Colleen, that's often a problem. Managed the funny point nicely. And now the beautiful. It's ending up with the little bits of Colleen stuck in there. The light fast. I'm very impressed with this sharpener. Really, really impressed. Crayola. Another pretty pink. I love pinks. And the rose art also did very well. So I'm very pleased with it. I also give it a quick try with the Star Joy pencil that half sharpened away in a picture I was doing. And um, as you will see, it also managed that one very nicely. So I think that's a worthwhile investment to buy one of these. So the last sharpener I'm going to try is the Tagal. I use this when my other sharpeners are not working and when points keep breaking. I'm afraid to use it up because for me to buy in South Africa, it's expensive. I have to buy it from Amazon and get it imported. I think it's actually a, a Japanese sharpener. So I don't know how expensive it works out for people in other countries, but in South Africa, we always pay more than um, for instance, in the United States or the UK, because they don't seem to import these kinds of things in bulk. But it's a really nice sharpener because you can set the point to different sizes, to a one, two, three, four, five. Um, and you can close the sharpener for when you're traveling so that it doesn't spill. I'm gonna go back to one. It also has a very small reservoir for shavings. Oopsie, now I can't open it. 
I'm using the wrong thing, sorry. There we are, it's open. And um, like particularly soft pencils where you get one of those tricky pencils that keeps breaking, to do the number one point is very useful. I'm going to do this on this Prisma color. I think I'll sharpen them all to a number one because it's the point that you get the least breakage from. This is going to be difficult to get it to sharpen now because it's got a strange shape to it. But if you've bought Prisma colors, you'll recognize the shape of this point. And it's nice because once it is at that point, it doesn't use a lot of your pencil to keep sharpening it to that. So there's the Prismacolor. I have all pencil dust here. And let's see how the Laurentian does. That's also fine. The Derwent Ink Tense. I was becoming such a pro sharpener by the time I finished this video. I discovered that if you hold this particular sharpener and balance the pencil with your finger a little bit, it keeps it more stable and then sharpen from the back. All of them doing very well and you can see those little tiny points, but nice and sharp, perfect to get into all your coloring pages, tiny places. Koinor. The light fast. So unfortunately, unbeknownst to me, my battery ran out and the video stopped recording, but the Colleen sharpened perfectly, as did the Rose Art. So that's the very first one to get a 12 out of 12. That is all on the number one setting. I'm not going to sharpen my pencils away through all those settings but I did think it would be interesting just to do one of them on a number five. I'm going to do the rose art um, and just to see actually let's do a middle setting to see what the points look like just out of interest. So this is a number one setting and now here's a number three. <clears throat> That's a slightly longer point. And let's take it to a number five. I tried a number of times on this number five with this pencil and the point kept breaking. So I decided this particular pencil did not like number five and I didn't try it with the other pencils. So I hope you've enjoyed the showdown of all the different sharpeners. I hope you've enjoyed the video and congratulations if you've reached the end. I think the winner is the Tagal sharpener and next comes the Kum automatic long point and third is actually the cheap Lyra. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye now.